Hi Virgo, it's Elle here to do your 72 hour energy reading. Uh, so we'll break it down for love and romance and then career and finance, okay? Let's do love and romance. What do we have to tell Virgo in regards to love and romance? Virgo, love and romance here. What do you have to tell Virgo? I hope that everyone's doing well. Thank you to those who like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel. It is much appreciated. Thank you. All right. What do we have to tell Virgo? Okay. Okay. All right. At the bottom of the deck, we have the King of Cups. So you could be dealing with Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Sometimes this is a Libra man. Okay. Um, let's see what's going on here for my Virgos, Queen of Wands, getting some recognition, uh, maybe changing some things up, trying to manifest something. Uh, there might be a complex decision you're going to have to make in regards to something that you feel is out of control or you feel this relationship, this marriage, this contract, whatever it may be is out of control and you how you're coming off as emotion is emotionally emotionally confused about it so with emotional confusion sometimes people can take advantage of that uh, as you rest in the confusion they still continue to run amok and do whatever it is they want to do um, maybe it's this Queen of Wands Aries Sagittarius Leo Maybe it's this Cancer Pisces Scorpio or we have Libra, Libra male here. There's a in in order to get back in control here of this relationship, it's about making that tough decision, that tough tough choice here. Uh high priestess, and maybe in regards to um uh, something that's hidden in the relationship. Some element of planning or pre-planning or, or lack thereof there might be an element of someone secretly not being committed publicly they are um secretly or or uh you know that they aren't you know that they are not committed this is lack of commitment or fear of commitment This is someone who may be straddling two fences. You or they, Virgo. Um, this is someone who needs to make a decision in regards to what, what position are you taking? What path are you taking? This is someone, once again, two very real options here. And they're running them up while you're resting in emotional confusion. Ace of Swords, it looks like you bring the gavel down by way of having a conversation. Now, this will be a challenging new start, but you'll have victory here. But the challenge is the fact that you still love this person. There's still likeness, but you're going to have to make the decision for them. We either are or we are not. And that's the two-sided sword where we can have a new beginning or we can just cut this off all together. There's like distance between you and someone else also. It says that you might be looking for answers outside of yourself, but you know what the answer is. Get more information. And it looks like you do that with the Ace of Swords in regards to having this, this new start. You want to know how someone feels, what they want. You can no longer be confused about this relationship. They put energy, time, effort into it, but then there's there's inconsistency and a lack of commitment. It's as if they're committed to everyone else. You know, everyone else sees them as committed, or this is you, Virgo. Um but behind closed doors you two know that this person is not committed let's see if the shells have to say <coughs> excuse me hmm 
lazy, hate, ooh, tough, crazy, ring, Virgo always gets ring, business, spiritual. So I think your spirit is telling you what you need to be doing. You feel like this person is lazy in regards to the relationship and actually um, taking initiative. Once again, inconsistency. And you hate that. You hate that about that. You, what is making you crazy is you feel like you're in a circle with them and a ring with them. You also may be contemplating, are we getting married? Will I ever get a ring with this person? For some of maybe my female Virgos. Um, or there's someone asking you this Virgo. Will I ever get a ring? They feel like you're lazy in regards to the relationship. That you more, you're more concerned about your own business. Well Virgo you feel this way about someone else. You feel like someone is a busy body. They keep busy business. Uh, in order to keep you distracted and confused. Hmm. Let's see what career and finance holds for Virgo. Well, let's get the advice for Virgo. Let me pull two advice cards. Six of air and the high priestess. You need to well, need to stop hesitating before making an actual decision. You keep saying that you're going to be the agent of change in this relationship, but then you stay stuck and stagnant in the seven of cups and you do nothing. You need to make peace with the fact that you you hold the choice here. You need to make a choice. Are you in it or are you moving away from the turbulence, the drama, the change, maybe the love affair, maybe the childishness of another person, or maybe you, I don't know. Uh, you need to, the reason why you're confused, and keep in mind confusion is not of the supreme high God, but it is of a lower and lesser um, nature so when you find yourself confused you get under some spiritual guidance some mentorship so that you can see things clearly you need to get clear you need to make one before you make the decision to walk away to be done with to whatever um, get clear because someone's keeping you in the fog they keep making promises just to break them this could be uh, a cheating spouse or someone who has been caught cheating before this is someone who just says stuff and, and does not follow through in consistency they're lazy their nature their nature makes you crazy you may have to bring the gavel down or the sword and, and, and cut this away okay just because you do that doesn't mean that this is a forever situation. Sometimes you have to be the agent of change, the five of water. You're hesitating before making that necessary change. Keep in mind, people don't change. Change changes people. Make some change. And then that backs people into corners. They're either going to come out renewed and, and hence the word changed. Or they all come out the same and you know what you're dealing with, right? But you have to be the agent of change here because this person is well not well, I said running amok. It could be you, Virgo, it could be the other way around. So cross watcher, whomever, just you know, get in where you fit in, don't beat me up. All right, so yeah, that is that there. Um that's the advice for you. Career and finance, we're gonna try to run through this quickly, not you know, uh, you know, disrespecting or disregarding your reading, but just for the sake of time, energy, and effort of Miss L here. 
because I have 12 of these to do. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Thank you to those who understand. All right. Career and finance. All right. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. The bottom of the deck, the dreamer. So you may be on a new path. Uh, you may have completely changed your life. You feel like you're starting over. You may have gotten rid of everything. You may have just started over completely. Um, you may even be on a new journey, a new development. You may be in a new career. Five of water again. Five of water here. Seven of air. The hermit, there's you. And then the king of water again. And this is in career and finance. So, some things may not have turned out how you planned poor planning or your plans need to be revised in regards to some contract maybe you're with a job maybe you're with a big company a big corporation and it's like oh this is not what I thought it would be um, it says that you've been here before in regards in reference to this situation maybe not turning out exactly how you thought it would be and your emotions being stirred with this change with this um, things not turning out um, exactly how you felt how you saw uh, how you thought they would manifest you can't cry over the fact that it is not what you wanted you have to live in what it is and if you need to ne make necessary change don't hesitate revise the plan spend some time alone and come to a place of, of of discovery by way of setting yourself apart maybe you you need to even get some advice from those around you um it's almost as if for some of you you want to do like something that not only we got the high priestess twice. Like some of you are writers or you want to write or you have something to say. You might even write about space or time or or you're concerned with that or something because you're concerned with outer space. I don't know. Okay. Some of you want to do something that you love. But you want to still be able to make a living from it. You feel like it's charity work. Because it's not bringing you the money you're looking for, right? That's the the niche of all of us. It might be some unexpected opportunity here that you're going to have to move fast on. But it stirs you emotionally and it brings a lot of stability for you, okay? And it may even bring in some money. So this is good. Okay, uh, so there, there might be some unexpected opportunity here. Let's see what the advice card is for you. Oh, I didn't look at the bottom of the deck for love. Let's see. Ask others for help in regards to your love life, the love reading. There might be someone who can help you along the way. Once again, the high priestess talks about getting under some spiritual mentorship. You know? Get in with someone who can help you make that decision, make have clear thought, okay? Meditation, all right? All right, so in career and finance, we have someone, we have what is, okay, volunteer. So maybe it is you need to do some charity work. Maybe for some of you, you, you have so much that you want to give back. Also, you may find that in this charity work, you are uh, learning, learning about self, learning, uh, once again, self-discovery, learning about self. You're finding real purpose here. Uh, family changes. So some of you may be going to family and, and announcing something. And now, oh, I am doing this. I am going back to school. I am going to do charity work for the next six months hobbies once again some of you have a hobby that you want to monetize you, you love doing it but it's not bringing in the bacon uh so it's about getting to that place of planning pre-planning seven of stores plans need revision you may even go to the family and ask for money or ask for help in regards to 
Let's see what the shells have to say for you for career and finance. So career and finance is like you do something that is very unique to yourself, to you. Um, you want to know how can I make a living from this? I already love doing it. How do I make a living from it? We have caring. Yeah, you want to do some. No, sorry. We have gossip. All right. So someone may be, you may even be going to the family and shutting down some gossip. I don't know what that has to do with career and finance. Smart. Maybe someone is gossiping about your new found position, you being the fool. We have great body. I don't know where that comes in at. It could be a great body of work, I just heard. You may, some of you have a great body of work, but you're not getting paid for it. And it's like, I'm doing charity work. I, I can no longer afford to do that. We have, I miss you. We have moving. You might have moved or you are moving. Um, and then we have forgive. Okay. Some of you, you moved away. It's not what you think it is or what it should be. You feel like you made the wrong choice, but you just need to rethink it. And really, re, you know, refocus and redirect your emotions. Um, you also need to forgive yourself, like you're beating yourself up. No, it, it's just that you just need to revise, reshift. Um, moving, moving. Some of you may be going to family and saying you're moving. Okay, and and it may be in regards to career. All right, and maybe some hobby. There's an opportunity that comes in you, where you have to maybe get a new home. Okay. All right. Uh, I was going to say Capricorn. Some of you could be connected to a Capricorn. Um, Virgo, very, very good reading. Very interesting. Um, many blessings to you. Get a personal reading if you feel like it resonates with you for you. Um, once again, thank you. Take care. All links are below. You can get the 72 hour reading just like this where I pull cards for love and romance, career and finance. I just pull cards. You do not ask me questions. I pull cards for you. Also, take advantage of the 30 minute phone reading. It is on sale where you can get me on the phone and you can ask questions and um, we can, you know, go about it that way. All right. Take care, guys. Bye.